Immerse yourself into one of Switzerland's most attractive regions, the Varzaska Valley in the canton of Ticino. In there one can find some of the best places for swimming or luring villages such as Sononio. In this second episode about the Verzaska Valley, I'm going to show you this time the upper part which you definitely should consider to visit when you intend to travel to the Verzaska Valley. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is part two of the best things you can do here in the Verzaska Valley. I'm still at La Vertezzo. You can see the view over the village is just amazing. I consider this to be one of the most Instagrammable hotspots here in Switzerland. In today's video I'm going to show you all the great things you can see in the upper part of the Verzaska Valley, which are not any less beautiful than this place here. To many of you a visit to the Verzaska Dam and the clear waters at La Vertezzo might be good enough. For sure it's fascinating to arrive at the Verzaska Dam where I can watch people doing bungee jumping just as James Bond did in Goldeneye. Also taking a swim at La Vortezzo is an unforgettable experience. Some few might also consider visiting Corippo, the village with only 12 inhabitants. However, I'm quite sure that many of you have yet not considered driving up further to see the upper part of the Verzaska Valley. There are a couple of great places to visit, such as Sononio. Sononio is basically car-free, you can park your vehicle right before the village and then you can either enter by walk or bicycle. Sononio is full of rustico houses, the traditional stone homes that are very stereotypical for the canton of Ticino. It's quite similar to Forolio in the Val Bavona or to Corippo, just with the difference that it's larger and that there are more side alleys to explore. The village of Sononio is actually very similar to Corippo, just that it's more spacious. Yeah, and it's also more touristic. You can find some restaurants. They are called Grotto here. We're now having polenta, which is mashed corn. This is a very common specialty here in Ticino. So Julia is having it with gorgonzola cheese. Nick is having it with a local sausage. And myself, I'm having it with rabbit. So here I'm showing what I learned from my Ticinese father. So my father is an Italian Swiss. And here you drink red wine usually on lunch and dinner. But you don't drink it out of the glass instead out of a bowl, which is called Boccalino. Cheers! After lunch you shall continue to explore the beautiful village of Sononio. However, don't just walk along the main roads, but also consider entering the side alleys. There are a couple of great photo spots to discover. Besides the traditional stone houses and the side alleys, you also may get to see a number of Christian icons. This is something that is very characteristic to this valley and the canton of Ticino, as traditionally this region is Roman Catholic. Up in Sononio, there is not only a charming village to discover. Heading a couple of hundred meters further north, you will arrive at La Froda. Already when crossing the bridge, you will really get the alpine feeling. There are likely going to be many goats, which really nicely adds up to this place. What might also be a great idea is to have a picnic along the creek. Definitely this will be a beautiful way of spending your time in there. In order to preserve the nature, it's a good idea to not leave any waste behind so the next people may enjoy the place the same way as you did. 
A short trail will lead you up to the waterfall La Froda, one of the more serene large waterfalls that I have visited in Switzerland so far. Whether you choose to visit the waterfall or the village first does not really matter too much, though I think it's nice to keep it for the later afternoon before you're going to leave the Rizaska Valley. Prior to ending this video, one small suggestion of where to take your dinner on your way back. This is my current favorite grotto in the Wurzaska Valley, the Osteria Paradiso. It's located in Vogorno, which is 3 minutes north to the Wurzaska Dam. The food is really delicious and the ambience is definitely like in a real mini paradise, especially after sunset. During late spring and summer, it's open on every day, except on Wednesdays. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it to your friends. That would be really awesome. If you're new to this channel and haven't subscribed yet, then you're most welcome to do that now. I very much appreciate that. So that's it from our side. We're going to see each other very soon.